like the night and the greatest story ever. To tell a good story is tricky to do. You need to make faces and act it out too. But when Mike tells a story, it's always good fun with thrills and excitement for everyone. So the Vikings chased me into the woods, but I was much faster. I ran around a tall tree, leaving footprints all around it. Then I climbed to the very top and waited. Wow. <gasps> The Vikings ran round and round and round the tree until snark, ork, bork. They all fell down, too tired to move. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran back to the castle safe and sound. Oh, Mike, <laughs> you tell the best stories. Hello, everyone. There's a royal dinner party tonight. I've done a bit of shopping, but there's still so much to do. Uh, can we help Queen Martha? Oh, yes, please, Sparky. Could you make my favorite things to eat? Of course. Pea soup, parsnip pie, and my Sparky special dessert. And Squirt, can you polish the knives and forks and set the table? No problem, Queen Martha. Evie, can you pick some flowers and decorate the table? Okay, Mom, right away. Come on, Mr. Cuddles. <laughs> Ah, and Galahad, tidy your stable in case anyone wants a peek. <laughs> and Mike, you can, um, oh, what can you do? I know. Mike could tell the guests a story. Oh, yes, perfect. One of your great stories, Mike. Now, I'd better get everything else ready. Bye, everyone. See you later. So I need an exciting new story with lots of adventure. <gasps> By the King's Crown, that's it! I'm Mike the Knight, and my mission is to tell the greatest story ever! <laughs> Mike the Knight! Mike the Knight! <laughs> Woohoo! Huzzah! Right a quill pen? I'm not sure that'll be much use in an exciting story. Unless someone gets tickled with the feather. <laughs> Whoa! Stop it! <laughs> Maybe, Squirt. Right. I'd better go and think of what my story's going to be. Let's all get started. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> so, one day there was a brave knight. That's me. And he walked around the castle where he lived. Aw, trying to make up an exciting story. Hmm. Evie's hat? What's it doing here? <gasps> what? There must be a spell on it. To catch the flying hat, Mike the Knight jumped high. Oh. But then he jumped higher than any knight had ever done before. Huh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Whoa! This could be my story for tonight. I'll try it out on Evie when I give her back her hat. Evie! Oh, she's not here. Galahad! Hey, Galahad, listen to this. So, I was trying to think up a story when all of a sudden I saw Evie's hat. It was just sitting there. But when I went to pick it up, guess what, Galahad? It started to fly! Ooh. Anyway, I turned the hat over and a little bird. Tell you later? But I want to tell you now. Galahad didn't want to listen to my story. Maybe it wasn't exciting enough. I'd better try it on someone else. 
<laughs> Sparky, listen to my story. It's amazing. I found Evie's hat outside the castle, and then there was this bird and... A bird? Oh, where are those peas? But the hat started flying really high in the air, and... Hmm? Sparky, are you listening? It's just I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, oh, well, my story was about a big bird, like an eagle. An eagle? Oh, those peas must be here somewhere. Yes, an eagle, and it was eating a, a, a bag of peas. Peas? An eagle's got my peas? Oh, no. I need them for my pea soup. Sparky, wait. I've got the peas. I haven't finished telling you my story yet. Uh, I'll have to find someone else to tell. La, 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 la. <gasps> do, 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 do. Evie, I've got an amazing story. Not now, Mike. There was a big eagle flying around the castle. Sorry, Mike. I'm a bit busy. I still need more flowers. But it was pecking at your hat. Go, go! My hat? Oh, no. I've got to get my hat back from that eagle. But, Evie, you haven't heard the rest of my story yet. Oh, someone's got to listen to my story. And I know who. Squirt, listen to my amazing story. I saw an eagle pecking at Evie's hat. Caw, oh, caw! Oh. Oh, no! Is she okay? That must have hurt. No, Squirt. Her hat was on the ground. All right. Well, can you tell me later, then? It's just that I'm really, really busy right now. <laughs> Evie's hat may have been on the ground, but I still have to be a brave knight to get it back. The eagle pecked and pecked at my shield until it was full of holes. Oh, not your shield, Mike. Mike! My pie is burned. Sparky, I'm telling Squirt my story. Yes, Squirt, my shield was, uh, full of holes. So I... Mike, I can't find my Ivy. Shh, I'm telling my story. I battled that eagle with my bare hands, even when it tried to peck my helmet. Oh, oh! Tell my story. Where was I? Oh, yes. How are you doing, everyone? The guests will be here very soon. <gasps> oh, my goodness. What's happened? Sparky, is that the pie for the party? Yes. An eagle took my peas and the pie burned. An eagle took your peas? And it took my hat, too. So I didn't have time to get enough flowers. And when Mike told me about the eagle, I was so surprised I pulled everything off the table. Oh, so all of this happened because of my story for the party? Your story? I kept making things up so you'd stop what you were doing and listen to me. Made them up? What? What do you mean? I just wanted to have a good story for the guests. But if I hadn't interrupted you, then everything would be ready for the party. It's okay, Mike. But how are we going to get all of our jobs done again in time? With me helping you, instead of interrupting you. It's time to be a knight and do it right. Let's get started. the castle to start making up a story. So then the knight said that the eagle had tried to peck his helmet. Caw, caw! Huh? 
<laughs> Which made the little dragon jump and fall over. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Just as the queen ran in. Oh, there's an eagle in the castle. <laughs> and the big dragon appeared with a completely burnt parsnip pie. <laughs> And the knight's little sister ran in trying to catch her hat. Come back! <laughs> and that's when the knight realized everything was in a really big mess. <laughs> this is the greatest story I've ever heard. Huzzah! If you've got a story about a bird in your hat, don't call it an eagle, just leave it at that. And if people are busy and ask to wait, save your story till later, it'll still be just great! Be a knight, do it right. Be a hero too. Never rest on a quest. Do the best that you can do. There'll be trouble, double trouble. Not a